and going. Like out of a net, there's really no point in doing this. But yeah, that, that was good though. That was the first time I've ever been on 102 pace, and there wasn't anything special about that run. It was just a good run, you know? It's not like back in the day when you had to grind for those good brick roads. Wow. Somebody's doing earthbound. I hate how Twitch keeps trying to force the beta on me. FFZ doesn't work. Alright, lurk away, Fawner. Let's see if I can get something going here. Hopefully quickly. But yeah, I feel like that was the one the one good shot of the night. At least now, I don't feel as nervous about that, that manip, because I straight up bonked, and I thought it was over. But it worked. All that matters, right? Doesn't matter. Sloppy. Sloppy jalopy. I will take it. Yeah, that manip is new, so I don't really have any experience with it. I just learned it recently, like the other day. Still trying to get it all figured out. This has got to be the last one, though, so if this, this rips the star man, it's got to be it. Can't, can't sit here grinding for an hour just to get out of a net, you know? Because I was really going to cut, but then, like, two or three hosts came in. They were pretty good-sized hosts, too, and I, I hate, like I said, dipping out right after a host. Good night, Greeny. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time. Have a 
good day at school or whatever you got. Yeah, yeah, man, I know. I remember that. I remember that. You're like, well, I was just about to go to bed, but at least we got all these hosts come in. Because right, right before you hosted me, uh, it says you hosted me for 13 viewers. Right before that, I got a host for 33 from Ninny's. Is it? I don't even know. Is it Ninny's or Ninny's Z? I don't even know. I think it's Ninny's. Yeah, right before you hosted me, I was like a like a full minute. I was like a full minute ahead of uh, world record. Which I mean, it's my PB, you know, PB slash world record. That was the run, man. I can do it again, but ooh, floppy. But uh, it just sucks the way it happened because we manipulate that stairs glitch. To where I get that text box to pop up right when I'm going on the stairs. And I mean, sometimes you miss it where, like, you're barely too quick or too slow. But it was, like, not even in the ballpark. Like, something just... It, it's very rare. I've only seen it a few times. Myself and others. Where the text box is, like... Like, a full, like, five seconds off. Like, there's just something wrong. I don't know what caused it. Yeah, I, I was on, like, my split said my current pace was, like, 102.40-something. Ninnies? Okay. Ninnies. That's what I thought. Damn, three minutes ahead? That's huge. Yeah, I can, I can easily get that pace again, because like I said, there was nothing special about it. It's just, everything went as it should go. You know, it's a grind to get everything to line up. Basically, it was good O'Net. Get up there. Good O'Net. Uh, good Cliff Skips. Good Graveyard. Graveyard's RNG. Whether you get spawns or not. And then I actually landed the, um, the new Brick Road manip and carried it through Pond Cave. Because in my PB, I got the Brick Road manip, but I bonked something on the way into Pond Cave, and I didn't trust it because it's new manip. So I did an extra save and quit to set up the old manip. Because we used to do Brick Road unmanipulated, and you just tried to get the skips, which were a mix of execution and RNG, duck skip and proto skip. And, um... Then you would save at the phone at the end of Brick Road, and go to Pond Cave. But what I did is I just did, you know, to get the full time save, you have to carry the new manip through Pond Cave as well. But in my PB, I was like, oh shit, like I literally just learned this earlier today or the day before. And, uh, I actually got the current world record a few days ago on a D-Rust run. I already had the world record, but I improved it because the new manip came out. And, uh, there's a couple people trying to beat me. I'm playing defense. Yeah, there's new manip and glitchless as well. And uh, until today, I was the only person to hit it three times, actually. But uh, another runner by the name of Classic James got it today, but then his run ripped. I mean, mine have ripped too. But anyway, so I had the world record for like five months with a 104.20, and then this new manip came out for Brick Road because before you were grinding for good RNG there, good skips. So, the new Manip came out, and people were grinding, learning the Manip, and learning the run, you know, trying to snipe the world record with the new the new Manip, so I was like, shit, maybe I should actually learn this and at least put up a decent run with it. So I learned it, and put up the worst fucking run ever. 
because it was a D-Rust run. Like, the early game is so bad in the current world record. But, you know, it was world record because of the new Manip. I made so many mistakes, and in the run I just ripped, it was like, everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. Like, the only thing that could have gone better was, like, you know, mashing faster or pushing the buttons faster. Everything was perfect. If that one, if that one would have PB'd the full one I was just on, that would have been very hard to beat. Like, I might have just been done. If that one would have gone the distance, I might have said, if, okay, if you beat this, I'm done, because I don't know how to do it any better. Like, it would come down to O-Net time at that point, basically. Yeah, Maniacal. I've gotten through it a few times. I got really frustrated at it earlier because there's still some inconsistencies in Happy Happy. I thought I had them figured out, and then I was struggling to even get back there, and I was like, oh man, you know, if I could just get back to Happy Happy. I was, like, dropping it in too soon. Like, if I could just get back to Happy Happy, I've got it all figured out because I did a couple hours of practice on stream the other night. Didn't really get anything going, so I was like, you know, I'll just do some practice. And I got there, and I ripped, and so, you know, it just, I felt deflated because I thought I figured it out in all that practice the other night, and apparently, I don't have it figured out. So, I'm gonna have to do more practice. But yeah, it's crazy, man. There's new minute for glitchless, new minute for any percent. The exciting time for the uh, Earthbound speedrun. Tilting time indeed. You know it. They don't call it salt bound for nothing. Yeah, I, I, I'm i taking a break from Super Metroid right now, but I would like to get back to it. I just got so much I want to do in Earthbound. Like, with all the new Manip coming out and everything, I'm just I'm hooked on Earthbound right now. I really want to get a PB with the, the early Mondo Mole Manip. I would like to put up a good time in this. Not a fucking D-Rust run. Makes me look like a scrub. Scrub tier world record. I mean, the other record stood for five months, but then, like I said, the, the new Manip came out, and I just realized, like, that record could not stand against the new Manip. any percent. There's no manip in Boogie. I just wasn't feeling Boogie. So I figured, hey, if I can get out on the first try, we'll be good. Manipped two 1 out of 128 bomb drops there. Those are the rarest item drops in the game. Not the bombs themselves, but the 1 out of 128 class of drops. You won. So the normal strat here for non-manip is to grind until level 8. When you get Psy Rockin, which is the first Psy attack. That's gets. And you use that along with a boatload of burgers to beat Ant. But we're not going to do that. Got the bombs. We're ready to go. Strapped up, son. Strapped up, we ready for war. Right, not glitchless. No, this is the glitch category. The but the Onet Manip is basically the same. Yeah, those are Manip. This is all Manip. Double smashed by Ant. Damn, Serene. Ant don't play. But yeah, this is all Manip. So these bomb rolls 
are almost max damage. 135 is the max. That was a little slow. I mean, I've been at this all night. Getting tired. To exploit the fact that when the, the Guardian dies, the, uh, the cohorts die as well. Yeah, glitchless is by far the most popular category for this game. I think more people would run any percent if it weren't so difficult, but it's... You, you know, they say about glitchless that it's easy to pick up, difficult to master. Well, any percent is difficult to pick up and even more difficult to master. I actually started with this category. I started with the fully manipulated Hard AF any percent category. I'm one of only two people that I know of to do it. The other is uh, Fawner, who's actually the guy that made the uh, Brick Road Manip, the new Manip I was talking about for this category. Right, yeah, it's a subset, a partial game category. And that's because the tourney's going on. Like, once the tourney's over, you won't see as much boogie. I mean, it is on the leaderboard now, it wasn't before. And uh, I, I'd like to think that I played at least a role in getting it on there. I had always been a voice of support for adding Boogie to the leaderboard, because there was a lot of people who didn't. They're like, oh, it's a partial game category. Doesn't belong. I think I'm done with Pajama Percent. I said, I always said, it. <clears throat> if I got sub 2, I'd be done. Gotta stick to my word, man. I'm trying to make a liar out of me. <laughs> Ooh, that's weird. Fine. Hunter's crazy, man. He's going for, like, world record. Even if I did bop him, he would just bop me back. He can just have it. He can have it, man. I'm pretty competitive, but that's one category that I just, I just don't like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it, man. Exactly, Serene. It's a good primer. Yeah, man, I just need to get the actual, like, 1950s striped PJ set. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, Glitchless, as the name implies, has no glitches either. I mean, it has a few tiny ones that we debate over whether they're glitches or not. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that. But yeah, uh, so people were asking about the bomb drops in this category, if they're manipped. Everything is manipped. All these damage rolls, everything. I hit him for 80, I think. But all everything is the same. Everything. This this is the exact same thing every time. As long as you don't drop the manip. I'm gonna hit him for 78. And technically that's a smash, and smashes don't have a random roll included with the damage. Smashes are four times offense minus defense. That would be Ness's offense minus the cops' defense. They have 75 HP, so it's just enough to one-shot them. Wrong has 140. Save time there, because I had to do backup cops' manip in my PvE, which is slower. I wasn't on the right RNG coming into the fight, but there was a slower minute for it, for what I had. Only like a second slower than the Onet in the, uh, the previous run, I think. So what we're going to do now is there's a little bit more Manip. Um, at this point, if you drop it, you can just continue. Yeah, permanently. So I'm going to do the Mushroom Manip, because on the walk to Tucson, you can have Mushroom Spawns. 
But uh, I've got to walk. No inputs. But turn kind of early, but I think it's okay. Because you would normally have uh, the possibility of mushroom spawns here. This is actually a manip I came up with myself. I came up with my own any percent mushroom manip. 1829? I don't think I'm capable of that. Hell, I just got sub-1840 for the first time yesterday. <laughs> Stalker Shroom. Yes, there's no shroom in this one, thank god. Had to get some skip sandwiches so we can go do a glitch. Gonna do some cliff skips. Gonna walk through wall, basically. I mean, that's basically all mashing, uh, Ryan, at that point. I just can't mash it like that. You old man. Oh, come on. I was in there. I was in there. I was in there. So, I, I have to pick up the backup sandwich out of the trash. Oops. Because I used three. Only by four, which is basically like the minimum to get through there unless you do the first two without it. Yeah, I lost like a good ten seconds or so. Inventory management, set up inventory for the minute. Luckily, there's a sandwich in this trash right here. So we're good. If I were to have used the other one, I would have had to go in the bakery. I actually would have had to use the ATM first. No defensive lineman. Getting spawns on this walk, man. Love trash sandwiches. Yummy. Yeah, that really wasn't too bad. Um, it doesn't take that long to pick up the one on the trash. Oh god. Oh god. It's not manipulated, obviously. Pretty good graveyard. Oh yeah, he's looking me over. Oh baby. Well, basically on the exact same pace, even though it uh, took longer to do the cliff skips, I had a better graveyard this time. Well, I'm on the same pace at this point, I should say. <laughs> nice, dude. Hey, man. Lurker's gonna lurk. Sleeper's gonna sleep.
Yeah, I don't think that's ever explained either, like what the hell's going on there. That sprite is reused in the, uh, on the summer's beach. I've done that. I've done that, Lone Sniper. Yo, Blacktastic, what is up, dude? Haven't talked to you in a while, man. Are you going to, uh, AGDQ? Sadly, I don't think I am. I've had a few people asking me if I'm going. <laughs> Ultra Flip, what the hell is that? Thanks for the luck, though, man. I actually ripped a uh, world record pace run right before this one. I mean, we're on world record pace right now. What am I doing? What am I doing? Talking is what I'm doing. But, uh... Yeah, there's new manip for this category. So it kind of opened up world record. I hurried up and sniped. Because I actually had world record, but... I did a de-rust run with the new manip. It was pretty bad. But due to just how much time the new manip saves, I got a PV with it. But there's at least one or two people that are, uh... Trying to take it. Yeah, man, this is a really, really interesting category. Because obviously, as you know, it was Glitchlist that was in at uh, GDQ. Inventory management. Hopefully I'll get to the stairs glitches, which are kind of like the the centerpiece glitch, like the three centerpiece glitches of the whole entire run. Gonna let them... Yeah, they hurried up, like they were kind of behind the schedule, I think, so they just hurried up and got the hell out of there. Yeah, that's a, that's a good spawn. Work with that. Despawn yourself. Oh, Nin's buy is an ultra flip. Oh, flipping tables and shit. I gotcha, I gotcha. The ultra flip, what is that? But yeah, man, it's good to see you, Blacktastic. I always mention, you know, like, actually I was showing the, uh, the picture. I, like, I'm sure you saw the picture on the Kotaku article talking about the breaking uh, record for the donations or whatever. And they have a picture of us, like, right there at the end of Ulti's run. And actually, somebody earlier was like, hey, what do you look like? Do you have a beard? I was like, no. I had a picture of me if you want to see one, so I showed it. And I actually, like, went down the row. I'm like, that's Blacktastic, Silent J, me, yada, 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 all the other people. Get the fuck in the tent. So, that's a, uh, they even quit to abuse the RNG values. They always reset to the same values. When you hard reset. So that is to set up some manip right here. You cannot hard reset in Glitchless, and it's to prevent that. Get the fuck in the tent! Get to the chopper! So this is, new, this is the new manip I'm doing here. The Brick Road manip. We did not... Manip brick road before, and you just had to try to get the skips. Where? Where is the monster? Sub Slim Toad. Up to the stream. Yeah, it should work on Virtual Console. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever... You, yeah, yeah, Fawner did it. Fawner did it. Yeah, so someone's done it. I was gonna say, I don't know if I've ever actually seen anybody do it, but I have. It's slower, though, because we do so many resets, save and quit, for the, uh, to set up the manip. You lose time on each reset, because you have to go through, like, a couple menus or whatever. Like, doop, 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 doop. Like, it's it's quicker just to, like, pop that reset button, you know? It's attacking, Tessie! So if it will not, I will not be surprised whatsoever if I drop this manip because, like I said, this is new. So I don't know this manip like the back of my hand, like all the the rest of it. 
Yeah, Bubble Monkey is what makes this part hard, because he affects RNG. Got to go a very precise path. Not like pixel perfect or anything. Okay, so this bottle rocket should hit for 367. If I'm on the manip. Yay. Planet of the Apes. More proper pathing. Let's go. Good. Hope it's good. Alright, I think it was good. Only one more spawn plate. I'm kind of far right here, but I don't think it matters. But that's the new Manip. We Manip Rick Road and we carry it through Pond Cave for maximum time save. Good, that's, that's correct. Ooh. That's so only the second time I've done that on console. Because in my PB, I, I screwed up after the uh, skipping the second enemy. And so I just did another save and quit, which wastes time, and did the old Bond Cave Manip. Because we used to do Brick Road non Manip, and then we would save with the phone at the end. And uh, Manip. Manip Bond Cave. Oh, he's in a good spot. Oh, he moved up. I have to save with that phone on the left, and if Ando Nuts is too close, you'll talk to him instead of talking to the phone. Yeah, this, this run is mostly manipulated. Not completely, but we manip a lot in this category. Quest 64, wow. I'm on roughly the same pace as last run. I told you I could do it again. But we are now going to go set up for the triple stairs glitch. Or the triple stairs glitches. We're going to do a series of three back-to-back -back stairs glitches and go out of bounds. What we're going to do is we're going to try to do. Is we're going to interrupt the transition onto the stairs by manipulating a cold which will pop up text right before you die, or right before you're about to die, saying, you know, like, hey, you're critical, you need to heal, or you're gonna die. I mean, that's not what it says, but it's to that effect. Like, letting you know, like, you're gonna die if you don't if you don't heal, because you're ticking down. And if you get the text box, during that transition onto the stairs, it, it's kind of like the game picks you up off the map and puts you onto this down onto the stairs. So, if you interrupt the transition, which is about 15 to 20 frames, I'm not sure the exact number, um, it picks you up, but it doesn't put you back down, and you can just go anywhere you want, because all of the areas in Earthbound are on one giant map. And what we do is we go to where we want to go, you can tell where you're at, because you can, you can still hear the music, and you use the soundstone to load the area, and then you use the door, and you'll be back in. The, the NPC you just saw, I actually have to watch, because depending on what he does, I have to possibly change my inputs. If he goes down, 
do an AA, and if he goes right, right, I'll do an ABL, A down B. I would prefer him to go down, because I would rather just do the AA. There it is, he went down. A bro. So from here on out, I don't really have any time saves left. I would like to just maintain this pace and finish the run. But there are many run killers coming up. Here we go. Well, I mean, I didn't figure him out. I just do what other people do. Uh, the guy that routed this, his name is Ari. I think Tasser's found this stuff. Like, people probably found the stairs glitches on accident, and then this is basically the task route made to be RTA friendly. The older route, you would die on the stairs. Kind of like I showed right before I started this run. Alright, I'm going to go into focus mode. Manipulated. Oh, almost messed that up. Wow. Oh, that's late. Got it, I think. Ooh, I didn't think I got that. Wow. I, I thought I was too early. That was like frames from failing. <sighs> Listen for an audio cue. It's required to beat the game to drop down this hole, or else one of the prayers don't work at Gaius. I think. Maybe it's Nightmare, does it? But regardless, you have to do that to beat the game. There's an intentional fight, there's a death warp. Another intentional fight. There's a hard trick. I could lose the run right here. Won't be surprised if I do. That's where I lost the other one.
Despawn. I split early. I think I split early. It wasn't gold, so whatever. Um, I prayed to confuse him, and then he used Glorious Light, and he selected the instant death attack, and it was manipulated to succeed against himself. Yeah, he, he flashed himself with Flash Omega and chose the the instant death. I went pretty slow on that fight because I was nervous. So we got Darko Net coming up. It's not manipulated. I could easily lose the uh, the run there. Because you're so underleveled, you don't have the rabbit's foot, you don't have the knight pendant, don't have the sea pendant, you don't have any of that stuff. So if you get any fight there, it's very hard to run. If it's a star man, you're fucked. If it's like an evil eye or something, then you might be okay. But they can steal Paula's bread roll, which is actually part of the cave of the past, the nib. Oh, that's interesting, Burns. I didn't know that. Yeah, you could. Mashing makes a huge difference. Oh, interesting. Burns, I didn't know that. Yeah, all these places we never visited.
Yeah, it does. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. No, I don't think anybody knows. So since we glitched in here to Saturn Valley, we don't have as a teleport location. I have to go get it before I leave. I won't be able to come back after getting the meteorite piece. So we go into the tunnel and then re-enter Saturn Valley. Very scary part of this run because it's not manipulated. We've lost many runs here. Good hill. This is probably gold. It is 100% spawn. I don't know what happened there. I got super lucky. It's the Mondomore place, our lone sniper. What's up, Radicator? That's the worst thing that happens all run, that's fine. You gotta talk to Ando Nuts, then applicate the Ando Nuts again. We don't carry Manip through there, Burns. We just manip getting in throw net into into Tucson. Yeah, Dustlin Toad. Deidre.
After the save and quit. Oh, after that? Um, Brick Road. Yes, it does reset it. Hit this minute. Yeah, I could lose it here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dude, I fucking froze. I, I thought I was about to mess it up. Because Paul and Pooh go back and forth freezing. And it's very easy to get confused which turn you're on. Plus it's late, man. I've been streaming for six and a half hours, and it's two in the morning. You can still rip here. Uko lost um, what would have been a world record run at the time on the final prayer. I've lost number two place before I had record on the second to last prayer. It's not over until the final prayer is off. Next is 1B. is another B. for the next one. Two bees. Freebies.
movies. And it'll look like a turnip. So this one, depending on the damage, I do different things. This is the Frank one, right? Mashing matters here because there's NPCs moving randomly. 741 is no bees. I think 823, I think, is the value. It is two bees. So what do we got? I think I said two bees, but I meant one. I said it wrong. I knew what to do. And then this is the mom prayer, right? 16, 18 is three, then four. 16, 53 is two, and then one. The 1653 has that possible clone value, which fails on the final prayer that got Uko. So 16, 18, three, then four. 1653, 2, then 1. 16, 18, 3, 4, 16, 53, 2, 1. Nice. It, baby 102 world record new world record and that's a good time I, I lost some time on the final prayer but you know I'd rather just bring it home so I don't even know what to say man I'm speechless Yo, Maniacal, thank you for the 102 bits. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, like I said, I, I almost did the wrong inputs on phase two. I had to stop and think about it. And my hands were shaking from all the nerves. So I had to do the menus to the prayers very, very slowly because my hands were shaking. And I would have just felt like an idiot if I dropped it. You know, now it's at the point where... You, you gotta grind for those seconds everywhere, I think. Right, exactly. I got it right. I got the 102, like the fabled 102. I don't believe sub-hour is possible with this with this current route and the current minute that we have. Uh, 101 might be possible. It, it'd be hard. <laughs> well, it's always the last run, man. It's always the last run. Hey, thank you and Nitty and everybody else for the host to make me do it. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. And, and to everybody else, cheering me on, watching me, believing in me, even when I'm feeling frustrated. But I felt after that, after that D-Rust run the other night, I felt like if I could just hit that Manip and get a good run and do it, that I can go all the way. Like, I put months into this category. I started with this category. Like, I know this category very well. But, you know, I couldn't, like I was joking earlier, I couldn't even get off the, the launch pad, you know? Like, I, I kept ripping in Onet, or like I went to Examouse House, or soft locked in stairs glitches, or died to the, the graveyard, or, you know, didn't carry the Manip through Pond Cave, or any of those other stupid things. But this was a good run. So where, let, let me look at my splits. So that was a pretty good Onet, 42. I mean, it's not sub-1840, but it's better than the 49 that was in the previous one. Cliff Skips, I think, took three sandwiches. But, uh, you know, I had to grab the, the trash sandwich. But then I had an amazing graveyard, so it kind of balanced out. 
Yeah, Serene, the only other person to start was uh, Fawner. Um, Winners is manipped now, other than the first spawn plate, but that was a quick despawn. Nightmare, lost a couple seconds there just due to slower inputs. You know, it's late. It was almost 2 a.m. I was tired. Meteorite was gold in my PB, but it was gold again. But that was a fake gold because I used to run with a different splits program. What's up, Ben? I used to run with a different splits program, so my true gold was in there. But that might have even beaten that. That was insane. Yeah, Ryan, I i don't even know if I've ever seen that before. That was crazy. Man, on the last run. What we're gonna do, we're gonna watch the credits. But thank you to everybody cheering me on, believing in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. But I think I showed that I'm dangerous in this category when I fired this game up for the first time, or this category, for the first time in months, and just like flew through it. Well, that time is still beatable. I lost some time, but that's going to be a lot harder to beat. That's that's a sturdy record. That's a sturdy record. Dangerous. Um, I'll, I'll check the sum of best in a minute. Oops. Whoops. Whoops. Forgot how to play all of a sudden. I looked earlier, and it was like 102... 20 or something. A lot of damage. Man, that that is wild. It still hasn't sunk in yet. <laughs> Alright, so we're not done skipping stuff. So I'm gonna skip a photo spot here. No, I'm not. Am I gonna get it? Am I gonna get the photo? Oh god. Oh god. And then you can skip some text right here from Paula at the door. Oh, got the text. Whatever. I, I don't know, man. I'm just like... I'm speechless, man. And I'm tired. It's 2.13 a.m. I can't... I can't believe I did this that late at night. But, like, I'm, I'm like, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I was so full of adrenaline and it's gone. Now I'm just like, like my brain is mush, man. Like, I poured it all out in that run. And, uh, my mouth is dry. I'm thirsty. I don't have anything to drink right here. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, I need to run and grab, like, a drink or something, I think. I don't know, man. I can't believe I just did this. Yeah, I'll be right back, man. I'm gonna grab a drink. BRB. My mouth is so dry. BRB. Sorry about that, but I'm I'm like straight up parched, man. Good H two O. Wow, man, I'm still I can't I still can't believe it just happened. Like I don't know if it's sunk in yet. Um, why does timing not go through this stuff? This is JRTA timing. Like if you were to play Mother Two. This is the um, the timing that would happen. The reason that we split on the final prayer is because that's like killing the final boss. It's like the last meaningful input. 
we would just split on the prayer, but Paula can get solidified. So you have to wait to see that the prayer got off successfully. I mean, with any percent, it's manipped. But like I said, you can get that clone value where you drop it. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> Slim Dota, that's all you said. I came to watch the Earth panel like I was a lousy world record. But man, uh, thank you so much to everybody, for real. All the support. Like, I was feeling pretty down earlier because I couldn't really get anything going. And it sucked knowing what I'm capable of. And I had all those early game rips and, like, stupid mistakes and stuff. But this is... This is basically the run that I've wanted. I mean, I lost a little bit of time, but no run is perfect, right? I mean, we're not tasks. So, really, the time saves in this are faster o net, um, doing clip skips and two sandwiches, uh, just slightly faster inputs on Nightmare. I mean, Meteorite, I don't see how you can go much faster than that. Like, I think I've had a one teleport Meteorite, but, you know, those are super rare. And then Gygus, I lost eight and a half seconds because I, I blinked in phase two. And I couldn't remember which, which attack came next, because I don't use notes. This is all from memory. Most people... Let me just say something here. Most people use notes when they run this category. Or at least a lot of people do. But... Or, or even if they don't use notes, they still pull them up as a crutch when they're at Gygus. I don't use any notes. I don't have any notes to use. I, I learned this whole route without taking a single note. Just straight off the dome. But... I, like I said, it was almost 2 in the morning, and I just blinked, and I was like, oh man, what do I do next? But then I made the right the, the right decision. I just had to stop and think about it. You know, sometimes when that happens, rather than just forcing it and doing the first thing that comes to mind, it's better to stop, think about it, do it right the first time. And then I, I lost a little bit of time on the, uh, the prayers, because like I said, I was so, dude, I was so nervous. Like, Man, I, I still can't believe I just did that. I got a 102. 102. Before my previous PB, nobody had even gotten a 103. But shout outs to Fawner for the Brick Road Manip and Daniel for making it consistent. Shout outs to Ari, Aurelix, for routing the whole thing. Shout outs to Uko for giving me the motivation to do this. Because I would not have done this if he wasn't if he wasn't grinding. So, big, a big shout out to Uko. Like I said, this, that other PB, I probably wouldn't have gotten that one. Like maybe just to get a PB with the new Manip, but the other one I probably would have been like, you know what, that's good enough for me. But watching him grind really made me want to come back to this category and, uh, and hit it hard. So, add props to him. This is not an easy category to grind. Oh yeah, here's all your photos. Hey, we got one. <sighs> Talking about Gerardo the Miner, left of Pooh. Apple Kid, but yeah, for real, everyone watching me through all of the Onets, I, like I did Onet constantly earlier tonight. That that was so many Onets, and so many people stuck around. I guess I'm doing something right if I can make Onet resets enjoyable. But whatever it is I'm doing, I'm glad that you guys enjoy it. Like I think that means more to me than than maybe this this PB, you know. Like, I was sitting there doing Onet earlier. I forget who it was, but somebody said it was, like, the best stream ever, and I'm literally resetting Onet all the time. That's, uh, you know, that's just... Those are such kind words. Man, this still doesn't feel real. This still doesn't feel real. Crazy. Like, normally when this happens, I'm, like, super hyped and psyched. Like, this one... I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, it doesn't feel real. Like, I'm sitting here just staring at the time. <laughs> like, man, did this really just happen? And the crazy thing is, I could I could beat this time. It, it would not be easy. 
It wouldn't be easy, but I could beat it. Wow. How am I gonna sleep tonight, man? How am I gonna sleep? <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed the, uh, <laughs> the run. I can't believe I did one more run. It's always the last run. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm just gonna wake up from the dream. I don't want to wake up. Thanks, Ice Kills. And welcome to the stream. I mean, you may have been lurking. I don't know. I appreciate lurkers, chatters, everybody, man. I'm just glad I could put up a good run for y'all to see. This is a good one. I know the previous PB was world record, but it had so much time loss in it. Like this... This is good. No major mistakes. I mean, the biggest mistake would have to be would have to be me uh, pausing at phase two. I went pretty slow, but I knew how much buffer I had. Like I said, why, why does it always have to be the last run? This is this is crazy. You know, people always talk about 102 it being possible. I just never thought that I'd be the person to get it. Yeah, I don't think sub hour is not possible. We would need to find something big, like a cliff skip, and just completely skip Brick Road and or Pond Cave, or find a way to like clip out of Onet. Like something big. Like even adding Darko Netmanip, I don't think would would do it. You can't. There's nowhere to do it. The uh, the police barricades are up. That's what you would have to get past. And nobody player. Nobody. Nobody played. We'll see where you get 101. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, that... Okay, if there was ever a run to get a gold meteorite, this was the one. So crazy, because meteorite was gold in my previous one, too. That was a That was a blessed meteorite. That was good. Oh yeah, I was going to check what my summit best was. I'll check it in a second. Fair blank. We're not done yet. Got the uh, epilogue. Where is it? Come on. There it is. Someone's a knocking. That's it. That's the end. That's all she wrote, folks. Solid run in the books.